Well, good morning, everybody. We are starting off pretty warm again. A couple of spots dipping a little further back into the 60s, and hopefully that can continue over the next couple of days. But I think everybody's going to shoot up into the 90s, probably the lower and middle 90s, which means record territory again and for a significant chunk of the afternoon before we do it all over again tomorrow. For one more time, and hopefully after tomorrow, we can start calming these temperatures down. We'd love to see a few showers to really help that out. I don't see very many chances for today. Probably not very many chances for tomorrow as we get to the weekend. Then we can start to up the rain chances too as conditions will start to change in the overall weather scheme. Right now it's 67 in Valdosta, 66 in Thomasville, little steps in the right direction. Normal morning low should be around 63 or 64. 70 to Tallahassee Airport this morning. Not much of a breeze to stir things up and we'll be looking for some patchy fog. We're still at 71 at Bainbridge, but it's 67 at Quincy. How about 68 at Perry? Homerville, the cool spot at just 63 this morning. And yeah, we do have some of that patchy fog, especially to the south and east. That likely will stick around till about 9, 930 before we're done with it. Now all the showers off to the north and west stuck there all around this big ridge of high pressure. And we can certainly see those orange colors, that dry air upstairs in the atmosphere that covers the Gulf Coast and most of the Florida Peninsula. And with that dry air in place, it's really hard for the clouds to sustain themselves, let alone get any showers going. Higher pressure at the surface moves away. And the first in what should be a couple of different pushes of cooler air tries to make its way down here by the weekend. I don't think this is the boundary that's going to make real big changes for us. But I think a second one by Monday or Tuesday could bring with it some more October-like weather. We just have to get there first, and I do think we've got pretty more hot going on for at least one or two more days before we can start to change things up a little bit. Some activity in the tropics here south of Cuba with some small potential over the next few days for development, but nothing to get excited about. And that's actually the only area we're watching in the tropics, which is nice for a change. Winds on the Gulf today, east and southeast, 5 to 15, seas 1 to 3 feet. A pretty good day for the boaters, a little breezy at times. The high tides are all done now, so it's low tides next up, but not until after 11 o'clock. 60s and 70s will go with mostly sunny and warm. Sun officially up at 732. Mid 90s and probably for several hours. So every bit as hot as it was yesterday, which likely means more records. Today would be the fourth straight record high at the Tallahassee Airport. I think we're going to get there. Upper 60s in a few more spots overnight tonight. And we're starting to step down those morning temperatures, at least a little bit. The afternoon highs that are normally going to be in the mid 80s this time of year are still looking at mid 90s until the weekend when we can slowly start to bring those down. So just like one or two more days before we do start to at least adjust in the right direction, I do see a significant push of cooler air trying by like next Tuesday. That could make it feel like it's supposed to around here.